So today I'm gonna to be showing you some manual lymphatic drainage techniques that you can use to help with any swelling that you may be experiencing in your face. Again, these are very gentle techniques, but very powerful techniques that will help to move swelling and hopefully to help to decrease any pain you may be experiencing. We're gonna go ahead and start in your abdomen with some diaphragm breathing. We start here because your tummy is kind of like Grand Central Station of the lymphatic system, and clearing the abdomen kind of helps to kickstart the whole lymphatic flow process. So we're gonna do some really gentle diaphragm breathing. I'm gonna have you put your hands right on your abdomen, and what I want you to do is take a nice, big, deep breath in through your nose into your tummy. So we're gonna go ahead and inhale, and then exhale. There you go. We're gonna take five nice deep breaths. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Two more. Inhale, and exhale. And last time, inhale, and exhale. Okay, now we're gonna come up and we're gonna start working at the base of your neck. For the purposes of this video, I'm only gonna demonstrate on one side, but you would absolutely wanna perform these techniques on both sides to get the maximum benefit. So we're gonna start here right at the base of your neck where your collarbone kind of meets in with the base of your neck. This is where your lymphatic circulation rejoins in with your venous circulation. We're gonna do a very gentle stretch down towards that junction and then relax. So it's gonna be a gentle stretch down and relax. Down and relax. We're gonna do this three to five times. Big stretch and relax. Stretch and relax. And last time, stretch down and relax. Again, the pull and the stretch is really coming from my arm. It's hard, but resist the urge to dig in with your fingers. Really just focus on using that nice flat hand. Get a good stretch and then relax. Then we're gonna move up to the side of your neck. And again, we're gonna be thinking about pushing that fluid down back towards that junction. So we're gonna push back, down, and relax. Back and down, and relax. Two more times, back, down, and relax. And last time, back, down, and relax. We're then gonna come kind of right at the base of your jaw here. And same kind of um, technique and direction. We're thinking back and down. So again, big flat hand right at the base of your jaw. Push and down, push back and down, push back and down, nice and slow, really focusing on that stretch. Good. Now we're gonna come right above the jawline here, so kind of right from the middle of your chin back towards your ear. And again, we're gonna think about using a nice big hand to cover a lot of space and I want you to stretch and relax, pushing back towards your ear here. Stretch, stretch, and stretch, good. Three to five times, or five to seven times. And what I'm gonna do here on this last one is I'm gonna kind of try and chase that fluid back down to where we started from. So I'm gonna just kind of push down. Just like that. I'm gonna come around to the base of the back of my neck here. 
because sometimes you can even get some swelling into the posterior neck region. And we're going to try to think about kind of pulling forward. And again, nice gentle hand, big stretch, and relax. Stretch, and relax. Stretch, and relax. Stretch, and relax. And then again, finish where we started. Stretch, and relax. Stretch, and relax. Now, I've just shown you techniques that are primarily focused on the neck as well as the base of your face. There are more specific techniques that can address your patient-specific swelling that involve the face, but that's something that we're gonna discuss in clinic with both Dr. Diane and myself. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.